What is up everyone? JD here. I hope you're all doing well today. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different on the channel. We're going to be doing a mod to my copper tactile turn pin. This is the side click. No, I'm sorry. This is bolt action. Bolt action pin. I've already broken everything down on the pin. What I'm going to be doing is actually doing a shipwreck force patina. Now, before I jump into that, it was starting to oxidize a little bit, so it already had some patina going on. I picked up a rust eraser, and what I've basically been doing with the rust eraser, as you can see here, is just kind of cleaning it up a little bit. I wanna kind of just, and be forewarned, the tactile pen, because it does have the milling on it, you do have to kind of go from side to side. I did try to go up and down to see if I could get in there good enough, but it really just needs to be done from side to side. And it really did get it pretty cleaned up. I just wanted to get as much of the raw copper as I could so that when I go to actually do the force patina, the shipwrecked force patina, it's going to be adhering to the pin. Now, what you're going to need is you're going to need ammonia. You're going to need a container that you can seal it in. What we'll be using today is we're going to actually just take some paper towel and stuff it in the bottom as the pin rolls away. And can you stay still? And then we'll crinkle it up so that it's making a little bit of contact all throughout the pin. Then we're going to pour some salt on top of the soaked rag or paper towel. We're going to then take some more paper towel, soak it on the top, and then we'll sprinkle some salt over top of the pin, cover it with the soaked rag, and then we're going to let it sit for four or five hours. So I'm going to go ahead and get that all set up, let you see how I get that set up. I also recommend glasses or goggles and gloves for your hands before you get started on this particular project. So I'm gonna go ahead, cut here over to where you can see where I'm gonna get all this set up and then we'll go ahead and get started. All right, so take your container, go ahead and grab whatever paper towel you think you're gonna to need to kind of crinkle up, bunch up that you're gonna want it to lay on. I would recommend that you try to have the corners sitting up so that you can get plenty of good contact surface here. Because what you're gonna want is wherever the pin's gonna touch is where your salt is gonna get you that blue coloring that looks so pretty on these particular pieces of copper. So I think I'm trying to get it to fluff up because I wanna get it touching as much as possible, but I also want it to be spaced out plenty as well so kind of like that hopefully you can see it's making minimal contact and then i have enough paper towel to go over top and kind of do the same thing so now that you have that set and in position go ahead and get your ammonia out unfortunately my local home depot didn't have just regular ammonia the only thing that they had available was the lemon scented ammonia but I mean, really, that's just the scent. The ammonia is still going to be able to do the trick. So go ahead and pour that in and just soak your cloth. Shit, it's strong. All right. That should be plenty, and I've spilled some, so we're just gonna clean that right up off of this laminate board. So we'll use that here in a second. Go ahead and get your salt ready, which I didn't break the seal yet. Go ahead and just pour the salt all over, trying to make as much contact spots as possible. Go ahead and set your pen down in there. Then what you're gonna wanna do is go ahead i recommend soaking probably the two rags that you want to do the most and then get your rock salt on top i think i heard some salt fall somewhere but who knows where it is go ahead and close that over top i would go ahead and soak this rag as well So 
So that should be plenty. Now that it has soaked for a minute, I would go ahead and try to get some salt on top of the pen if you can. Maybe it'll move around a little bit. Trying to paint it on there is not the easiest thing to do. Go ahead and cover everything up, seal off, and leave it. As tempted as you are going to be to check on this, you're just going to have to do it for four or five hours and i have other things to film so we're just going to set that completely aside for the next four or five hours so i will cut back to when we're going to open this and check this out all right guys we are back i um i was going to time lapse everything that i was doing with the shipwreck patina but I decided instead what I'll do is just link down below to a video that's very similar to this. But I ended up soaking, just like I said, the paper towels. I ended up putting the salt on top of that. And then I sprinkled some on top of the pen. And I ended up having to put just a little bit of ammonia on the pen to kind of make it tacky so the salt would stick to it. Then I took another layer of paper towels and put that on top and I ended up putting a little ammonia on that to make it stick I closed it all and I I let it go for uh, let's see two three four five I let it go for three hours and I know that it said to go for four but I wanted a little bit of a lighter blue and just a little bit of a lighter patina because I knew I was going to end up kind of working away the worn look on certain sections and I didn't want it to be too abrupt and I think it came out pretty decent so here's the final results of the shipwrecked patina I ended up putting two coats of clear coat rust-oleum on top of this finish once it was done so you can clearly see where I took away a little bit of the patina just to give it kind of more of that blotchy look and I ended up having to take thousand grit and wrapping it around the cartridge and kind of tuning up a little bit here because it's a little gritty or it was a little gritty that smoothed it out a little bit and I'm just going to see if it continues to smooth out on its own if it's still a little gritty what I'll do is I'll go back with a little bit more thousand grit I might not have gone down far enough um, to get that to smooth back out but I think it came out pretty good I like the light blues. I didn't really hit too much of the blue. Some of this is blue. Some of this is where it was kind of blacked out. Um, the Rust-Oleum feels completely dry. I put, again, two coats, clear coat to really help give it some pop. And I thought, you know, it looked pretty good. The nice thing about the Rust-Oleum is it doesn't have that nasty, stinky copper smell anymore. So instead of this just being a dust jockey where I'm using this when I'm working at home, um, I might get this back into the rotation. So that is my shipwreck patina. I definitely wanted more blues in there, so I didn't take as much away. I thought the, uh, the blue looked most interesting to me and even some of this looks a little green where it kind of hit just a little bit with the bar to fade it a little and then the bright copper i think looks really good let me know what you think of this one if you enjoyed it do me a favor if you can leave a like consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed make sure your notification bell is set to all so that you don't miss any content that comes out in the future thanks for all the support i appreciate each and every one of you and i hope you have a fantastic week until next time peace